Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays of Lauren Master. We are listening to the story of the final days of Baleen's expedition, where we are here in the 21st hall, when they're getting ready to make their last stand. Let's see how it went. I was not certain you could still be alive, Captain Ori, but I rejoice to see you now. I wanted you here for our last defense. We are still waiting for word from the scouts you sent west, but so far there has been nothing. And now the orcs have taken the bridge and the second hall and close in on our position on all sides. We are certain to follow Frar and Lore and Nali, my captain, even if we hold out for a little while. Hark! Who is that? Is that one of the scouts? Well, let's hope so, and let's hope they have good news. It is! He has returned from the West Gate! Let's see what the report is. Is it good news? Hail, friend! What's the news over at the gate? My captain! I bring sad news. Oh, not more of it. The pool has come all the way up to the wall at West Gate. There is no hope of escape that way. Noble Owen's mission is ended, and in failure. In surprise, he was taken by the Watcher of the Water, and the weapon he bore availed him not. The surrounding halls are filling with orcs, Captain. It was all I could do to make it back here, but it had been for nothing. <sighs> for nothing. What can we do? It is hopeless. There must be something we can do, right, Captain? What can we do, Captain? We have no hope of standing against them here in the hall. They will overwhelm us from this vast numbers. Yes, you are right, Captain. We will retreat to the Chamber of Miserable and make what stand we may. There we will last long enough to make them feel the sting of our axes and hearken our battle cries. To the Chamber of Miserable, that is where we will make our stand. And, of course, anyone who's read the books will know uh, this is where they make their final stand, which is why the story of them was found in a book in this chamber. So, don't expect us to survive this incident. Captain, I would have a word with you while to we prepare the doors. Now that it comes down to it, Captain, I grieve for our return to Moria has been so brief and so full of sorrow. Was Baleen wrong to lead us here, and to expect whatever curse lay upon these halls had been lifted? It is too late now to ask such questions, but I would not have been a hope this hopeful journey come to such an end, to be forgotten forever, to come to nothing. Captain Ori, I beg you, finish writing our account in the book where such things are recorded. There it is, on the tomb that erected the Lord Balin. It has begun by others, but I would have you finish it. I do not want our fate to be forgotten. Finish the Book of Maserbo, Captain Nori. I would not have us forgotten. Very well. Well, the book's in better shape now than it is when we found it. Uh, let's write these final days here because things are about to get worse because they are coming. They are coming. And okay, let's go. Let's go. I, I got to survive a little time here. You don't want to die early in this instance. Uh, that's the thing about this instance. It's not. It's not. You don't want to die in this instance. It's, you don't want to die early in this instance. Because if you die too early, then you fail the instance. Because it has to be a noble stand, a final stand, a wonderful stand, a memorable stand. And PPs must die in this stand. Like that. Hey, you. 
We can take care of orcs like that. I really don't like it that we're being drawn out like this, I must say. There you go. All right, we'll, we'll take care of this. Oh, now you come to me. Oops. Oh, look at here. You are stubborn, mega beard. But I, Mazog, will send you back to your big. Now, how could he have heard the word Mazog if he's not announced until after the, until after the writing of the last chapter? On there, okay, they must have heard him from other sources, I guess. I suppose that's a possibility. There you go, Mazog. Okay, we also can help take care of you, and you, and you. Good. Now, how long you had to last it used to be a lot longer than it is now, and it was a real painful one to complete. But hey, we are giving Mazaga a nice pounding there. Hey, do you feel that if you kill Mazag, to me, my allies, slay this worm! This place is mine, my armies are limitless! And then just uh, ins insult the injury when they add start adding the trolls coming in. <laughs> so I think the trolls are there just for decoration. And, yeah, you don't have to last as long as you used to. That's a sad story indeed. I do not know if things will be different this time. We must prepare for the storm. If there is hope to be found in the leaves of Miserable Pineleaf, I could not see it. If we are to survive where Baleen's dwarves did not, we will need to prepare for the coming storm. It may not be possible, but we will at least make a stand. And we will at least take a... Hmm, fortune or... The company of Baleen, son of Fundi, came to a foul end in the dark halls of Moria. Durin's bane is gone but many orcs still dwell within those halls. Can the returning dwarves maintain their hold? The orcs prepare for war, and the dwarves must do the same. Is there any hope left? We'll have to find out. We must make the Chamber of the Crossroads ready for war. I fear we will meet the same fate as Baleen's expedition if we do not prepare for battle, Pine Wolf. If Ashpar is to be believed, the vengeance of Mazog, his host, may be swift. We cannot rest until we are prepared for the worst. We must be ready to meet this onslaught. And if we are lucky, we will not be doomed as Balin was, whose road was yet unknown to him. My doors, Slothi, Siegden, and Thalfi are in the chamber of crossroads must be told of the situation. You should do anything they ask you to prepare for the coming storm. The great delving, at least, will be ready. Let's go. Hello there. What do you need done? Hear me out, friend, for I have a tale of glory to tell. Mostly has tried to keep it quiet, but rumor travels quickly in the passages of Moria. Most of us are now aware of Baleen's end. They are, were surrounded, orcs from the east and below, and the terrible creature in the pool by the Holin Gate. We cannot afford for that to happen again, Pine Wolf. But if it does, it is my responsibility to make sure that we have enough supplies to withstand a long siege. I want you to leave Moria and speak to Thorknir, just outside the doors of Durin. Tell him to send us as much food as he has to spare, and to arrange for more to be on regular schedules. We will not put in the such a dire place in Spillane's company. I would see us avenge them, so that they may then rest in long peace beneath the stones. Very well. And we should have a little trip outside then. But we need to speak with this guy also. Hello there. We have seen naught of Durin's bane. Be wary if you journey into Moria. 
I do not like that well. I looked down it and couldn't see the bottom. But I'm pretty sure there's water down there. It makes me nervous. What if the orcs find the bottom of the well and try climbing up? They could use it to get into the room without the sentries noticing. I don't need to tell you what a disaster that would be. I'd feel better if you could find the bottom of the well and make sure there's no way for the orcs to climb up into the chamber. Melmer went looking for it, but I never heard back from him. I don't know how you get to the bottom safely, but you should find a way down to the waterworks and then look for Narek Caleb, the bottom of the well. I expect you will find it in the southwest of the mighty aqueduct of the depths. Uh, don't jump down the well itself, though, unless you think you can fall for an uncounted fathoms and land alive on your feet. Yeah. Apparently a lot of players think they could do that. And what do you need, Siegden? We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. Do you think we will be ready for the time the orcs attack us? I do not know if we will. If the orcs knew how vulnerable we are now, they would not delay. They would attack us in this very hour. My cousin Spor has taken it upon himself to scout the approaches to the chamber of crossroads. If the orcs have the plans to attack soon, he should see the signs and can warn us in time. Please go help him with this patrol. I am anxious for Spore to have some assistance. Should any unsavory foe meander across his path. Uh, right there. Let us find your cousin and handle that little matter first. And I believe he is down the, this way. Yeah, that's just a regular guard. Ah, here is Spore. Hello there. Dark things dwell now in Moria. If you're keen of eye and strong of arm, I would welcome your company on this patrol, Pine Wolf. Let us scout for any sneaking orcs that find their way to gain advantage by spying on the approaches to the chamber of crossroads. Stay alert! Orc spies could be anywhere. Very well. Anywhere. Yeah, like, I'm sure the first place we go in this... Yes, like, there might be one right here. I know, what a shock. Yeah, that was really impressive. <laughs> okay, one less orc. I don't know why that would be assumed to be the only orc spying around, but... And apparently it finishes up the quest, so that is oh, one item done. So let's turn that one in. And then we could head out to the front, where oh, we could get some supplies. Hello there! May Doreen return soon to his halls. You did well, and I am pleased that you were there for Spore when he ran into trouble. My cousin is valiant and brave, but some challenges are simply too much for a single dwarf. Thank you, my friend. Perhaps we will be ready for this time after all. All right. That takes care of one. Now let's head out to the front. It's nice to be outside, though I wish it were a place that looked much better than this. Alas... Hello there! We need to make sure that we have extra supplies because there are worries of the potential siege situation if the orcs decide to attack. Welcome to Khazadun! So, the troubles within Moria have begun already. I am not surprised that they have come, but I did not expect that they would be upon us so soon. I would have urged more caution, but I held my tongue. Bosi and Broger are capable dwarves, and I did not wish to heed the warnings of my heart. I approve of this decision to order an increased frequency of deliveries into Moria. I have long said that food has been too slowly sent into the mines, for any number of obstacles could besiege our supplies, within or outside the mines. I will give you the first of these deliveries, bring it to Slothy in the Chamber of Crossroads, and tell him that more will follow. Very well. 
Let us uh, deliver the food. Hopefully this will last us a little while. The house of Durin will live forever. Ah, the first of several deliveries from Thorngear, I hope? Oh, good, good. We won't be shut off from the outside world and caught unawares this time. We will be ready for anything. I hope so. Now, I need to get down to the waterworks. We've made it back to the rotting cellar. And I believe someone wanted to speak with me here. Uh, hello there. How are you liking it down here? What you need? Lord Master Pinewolf, how good to see you. I trust I was not too difficult to find. Oh, well, you did put yourself into an inconspicuous location. Yes, I understand that you have come to a point in your studies that will require more aggressive research in order to better your skills. I believe I know just the thing to help you on the way. Come, let us speak further on how we can help each other. All right. Could I speak with you a moment? Yes, it is good that you have come to me. I see in your eyes the hunger for knowledge that drove me to greater pursuits in ages long past. Here, in the waterworks, it is easy to find odd bits of dwarf knowledge, though lost through the ages. If you are up to the task, I would have you gather up some of these texts and bring them to me. It is likely we will end up learning a great deal together. Your search should focus on the larger buildings of the waterworks, as well as any large gatherings of foul creatures here. Return to me when you have found a significant number of materials for us to study. So I need to gather up lore fragments. Okay. I suppose I can do that while I'm doing the other stuff that I'm doing in this area. And I believe... Oh, yes. We might as well have that because I'm going to be needing to get back here at some point. Hello there! We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. The goblins keep smashing the dwarf lamps. Without them, we cannot safely find our way through the halls that move supplies between the camps we have established throughout Casa Doom. We either have to find more materials to craft more lamps or find a replacement. The latter may be easier, now that I think of it. I believe we can use bits of glass spider legs to replace the crystals. In order to do this, though, I would need a great many of those legs. If you would, go out and hunt down some of those glass spiders and bring them me their legs. You can find a good many of the beasts in the west, near the Lost Palace. Now, I really wasn't planning on going to the Lost Palace just yet. Simply because I have other things to deal with. What I need to do is to get some lost fragments and of course I need to find the bottom of the well which I presume the well drops you down here somewhere. As this sounds like a bit to do I think we will stop here and return next time where we are going to do some hunting and taking care of our Lore Master Quest in the next episode of Piney Plays, The Lore Master.